Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing another goalie tips video on NHL 18. Now today I'm going to show you guys how to save penalty shots and breakaways because of the new threes game mode introduced this year in NHL 18. You're going to be facing a lot more breakaways and the recent tuner making each penalty in threes a penalty shot. So you're going to be facing a lot of breakaways and penalty shots this year. But don't worry, I've got you covered. I'm going to give you the secret tips and tricks on how to stop breakaways and penalty shots. My first tip is to not wildly challenge the shooter coming in, coming in on a breakaway. The furthest you want to be out is maybe to the top edge of your crease. And I know I'm certainly guilty of not following this sometimes. But you want to try and not make it harder on yourself to get back because if the player is coming in with speed it's going to be harder for you to move backwards and they're going to be able to just go right around you next be ready for a quick move or shot because most players won't have time to dance around with the puck in the slot unless uh you are clearly you are truly out to dry or it's a penalty shot most players won't have time to make tons of moves, so I would usually expect a quick shot or deke. Going off of that, most players will go backhand to forehand, but that's not to say all players will because as you climb through the ranks, better players won't do this because they know you're expecting it. So this only works in lower ranks in drop-ins. Most players will make will fake to their backhand and shoot forehand. Uh, so be ready for that but that's not to say other breakaway tricks will happen because that's not the only one however new to NHL 18 this year the new deeks have been used on breakaways and lot and I've faced my fair share of them the favorite seems to be the Datsuk flip uh, my only advice to saving these is that you don't want to go down as much as you would in 17 uh, because that's what the players want. They want you to go for that diving poke check or for that spread eagle or for the wide dive. They want you to do that. So do your best to try and avoid using that as much as possible this year as that's what higher level players want you to do. However, take this with a grain of salt as a surprise poke check, a surprise diving poke is just as effective. And that's not to say you shouldn't use it at all. Just try and cut down on it. Next, you want to gauge the speed of the shooter coming down in on you. If they're going fast, top speed, they can't stop. They're only going to have time to make one move. So, again, usually the backhand to forehand or the back or the forehand to backhand or they will just shoot, which seems to be my favorite this year. Uh, but they're only going to have time to make one move to maximum. 3 moves is absurd. Uh, so as long as they're coming in fast, it looks scary, but you actually have a really high chance of saving it. Uh, as long as they're coming in blazingly fast, they won't have time to make too many moves. And plus, their speed, I've seen it happen, their speed will carry them over the goal line and they'll shoot and they'll hit the side of the net. It's hilarious. However, if they are going slow, uh, they can... They can uh, Deke on a dime, so they can make multiple moves, and it will be hard to stop. But again, this won't happen in a game unless you are truly out to dry or it's a penalty shot. So you don't have to worry about that. Next, you want to read your defense to see what they are trying to cover. Now, most good defensemen will try and take away one side of the ice for you, leaving you only to cover short side. And this is a must save for your defenseman. Uh... There's only one place for the shooter to shoot, and if you let that in, uh, well, that is not good uh, because your defender made the defensive play. Uh, these should be saved 9 out of 10 times, that one time where it kind of just squeaks through you somehow, but this should be a save if the defenseman is cutting off one side of the ice, leaving the shooter to only go one place unless they want to give it right to your defenseman or try something fancy. My next tip is kind of like a mentalish thing is that you should trust your gut whenever you see someone coming down on a breakaway. If you think diving poke is a bad idea, then don't go for the diving poke. Uh, and this also goes for 
when a player is coming down. If you think that they're going left, don't move right. Uh, I am such I'm so hypocritical at this because this is how I get beat on breakaways all the time. I second guess myself, but just try not to second guess yourself because usually your first instinct is right. Uh, human instinct is just uh, really cool like that. Lastly, this was a pretty effective tip last year, and that is if the player is coming down and you know that they're going to fake to one side, most players will try and tuck it in right inside that post. So it's not a terrible idea to go for that uh, reverse VH post hug to try and seal off that gap. Although there is a little bit of a uh, gl bug with it where sometimes it still will squeak through you. Uh, but there's not much you can do about that, unfortunately. So that just about wraps it up. I hope you guys all enjoyed this tips video. Uh, I put in what I could, and I hope this really helps you because this really is going to be the year of breakaways and penalty shots for skaters, and us poor goalies have to sit there and take it every single game. It's not going to be fun, but hey, it's the life of a goalie. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.